To dissect a grasshopper, I will need a small dissecting pad, a standard dissecting set, which includes scissors, forceps, and a scalpel, microcentrifuge tubes, ethanol, insect pins, and a scheme of a grasshopper's internal structure. First, I need to take a frozen grasshopper from the freezer and rinse it immediately with ethanol. This step will clean all plant debris from the external surface of the grasshopper and prevent the amplification of non-host plant DNA. Then, using scissors, I carefully remove the hind legs and the wings. After this, I put the grasshopper on its side and used insect pins to anchor it to the dissecting pad. Then I used scissors to cut the exoskeleton of the grasshopper along the side. I start with the last segment of the abdomen and move slowly towards the head. I open the internal cavity so that I can see the digestive system. You can also make an additional cut if needed. I carefully pull out the digestive system. I have a grasshopper male here. If you dissect a female, you might want to remove all the ovaries and fat bodies before you pull out the gut. Now the gut is isolated and I can immediately proceed with DNA extraction, or I can store the gut in ethanol in the fridge and do DNA extraction later. To prepare different parts of the gut for DNA extraction, I need to review the scheme of a grasshopper's internal structure to match the main parts of the digestive system. The foregut includes the buccal cavity, pharynx, esophagus, crop, and proventriculus, after which the midgut begins. Once I find the border between the foregut and midgut and hindgut parts, I use a scalpel to separate them. Then I need to place the foregut and midgut and hindgut parts separately into microcentrifuge tubes with 70% ethanol and store them overnight before the DNA extraction. You can skip this step if you immediately proceed with DNA extraction. I label the tubes. This was a differential grasshopper after 7 hours post-ingestion. Now the tubes are ready to be stored in the fridge till the next DNA extraction step.